hello guys so today we talk about uh, eolian processes and uh, eolian landforms so if you remember in my previous video i have already talked about uh, geomorphic process so eolian process is actually one of the type of uh, geomorphic process so today we talk about in this uh, topic actually so eolian process are uh, eolian landforms actually eolian process is the process by which the uh, eolian landforms is forms and eolian landforms is actually forms by the wind actions so uh, today we talk about detail in this uh, topic so eolian landforms are features produced by either erosive or constructive actions of the wind these features may be built up from sand or snow and uh, wind may erode transport and deposit that material eolian landforms are commonly observed in sandy deserts and uh, on frozen lake or sea ice these landforms have been observed and studied across earth and other planets including mars and pluto wind can erode and transport that material eroded material actually and deposit that transported material somewhere else so this is the three process by which the eolian landforms is actually forms so as i said in previous slide that uh, uh, eolian landforms is actually forms by three process erosion uh, transportation and deposition so here is the mechanism actually by which the wind is actually eroding the material so see here wind can erode the material by three mechanism that is abrasion or corrosion deflations and attritions so abrasion or corrosion means wearing down of the surface by the grinding actions then deflation means lifting and removal of the loose fine material then attrition means it is a grinding actions when transit wind borne material collide with one another it brings further grinding of the material so these are the three processes you can uh, understand these uh, process by this image see here this is the abrasion so abrasion means grinding actions of the particles rock particles into the ground as you can see this is the rock particles and these particles are actually grinding with the uh, ground or with the exposures rock exposures then deflation deflation means lifting and removal of the loose particles from the rock so as you can see this is the deflation process then attrition attrition means the grinding actions of rock particles to one another when rock particles to uh, grinding to each other they have produced new particles so this is the three process by which the wind is actually erode the particles or erode the material now transportation transportation by wind so there is also three mechanism saltation suspension rolling or tractions so saltation means transported through a series of bounds when rock material or rock particles transported by a bounce of a series of bounces that is known as saltation then suspension so lifting of the particles in atmosphere and then carried into great distance before they settle so suspension means lifting of the particles and these particles uh, travels miles of distance in atmosphere then settle down somewhere else so this is the suspension then rolling on tractions tractions means the movement of the particle on ground now see the image saltation suspension and tractions as i said saltation means series of bounces of the rock particles or pebbles see here these are the bouncing then suspension suspension means lifting up the uh, loose particles or uh, material into the atmosphere then that mat uh, material is actually travels miles of distance and then settle down somewhere else so this is the suspension tractions means large boulders and pebbles are rolling down along the exposures along the exposures are rock bed so this is the tractions now deposition by wind so deposition by wind is actually have also three mechanism reduction in velocity obstructions to wind and increased load so reduction in velocity means reduction in velocity of the wind when wind act, uh, wind act actually lost the velocity the deposition is occurs then obstructions to wind when uh, any obstructions it comes out in the direction of wind the, de the deposition is occurs 
then increased load when uh, uh, eroded material is accumulated in lots of uh, uh, quantity then deposition is occurs now see here this is the types of landforms uh, how what type of uh, eolian landforms is there and uh, how many the classification of uh, landforms that form by uh, eolian actions so erosion and deposition is the dominant geomorphic process to form wind worn landforms so erosional uh, landforms grow when more sediment is removed from an area faster than it is uh, deposited there are several type of landforms associated with uh, erosion like uh, deflation basins ventifacts mushroom rocks yard angs and lag deposit so uh, if you want to uh, know more about uh, uh, these topics or you can say the original uh, landforms by wind you can refer some books like uh, uh, Geo uh, geodynamics by uh, k siddhartha and uh, geomorphology by uh, savinder singh see here this is a mushroom rock see here this is the eolian actions now depositional landforms grow when sediment is deposited into an area faster than it is removed these landforms grow from snow sand and are dust in areas where wind patterns trap particles for examples the great sand dunes in colorado so some uh, depositional landforms are uh, sand dunes barken dunes ripple marks loess desert pavement and desert varnish see this is the ripple marks so this is the all about uh, uh, eolian processes and eolian landforms you can see my next video to know more about uh, uh, geomorphic processes or type of geomorphic process